Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. In this lab experiment, we will determine a value for the acceleration of free fall. We extend our sincere gratitude to Cambridge International Assessment Education for their invaluable contribution to the creation of this compelling video content, which promises to enlighten and inspire curious minds around the world. Objects fall due to the influence of gravity. In this experiment, we are going to investigate the rate of acceleration of an object in free fall. A meter rule is fixed to a wall at the height of 2 meter. A plumb line is used to ensure the meter rule is aligned vertically. The bottom of a ball is lined up with the 1.50 meter mark. The ball is dropped and a stopwatch is used to measure the time for the release of the ball until it reaches the ground. This is repeated twice so an average can be taken. The result of each repeat is recorded. The ball is now dropped from 1.40 meter and the time is recorded. For each new height, three repetitions are carried out so that an average can be recorded. The displacement of the ball and the time taken to fall are both known. It is therefore possible to calculate a value for the acceleration of free fall. Using the equation S is equal to ut plus half at square. Initially, the ball is stationary, so u is equal to 0 and the equation can be expressed as s is equal to half at square. a represents acceleration due to gravity so it can be replaced by a g. In a graph of s against t square the gradient is therefore equal to half g. A graph is plotted of s against t square. A line of best fit is drawn. The gradient of the line of best fit represents half g. Your measured value may be different to the expected value of 9.8 meter per second square. Although the method shown can produce a reasonably accurate value for the acceleration of free fall, there are large measurement errors involved. Some of these can be minimized through the use of data logging experiment. This experiment has shown how basic equipment can be used to determine a value for the acceleration of free fall so i think it's enough for today so thank you very much for listening and watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this video is useful for you so take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question query suggestion and even classes are required take care of yourself meanwhile see you in the next video goodbye